Hey guys, so if you've been following along with my videos and my Twitter and whatnot, you already know I have a 3D printer now. But I bought a pretty small 3D printer. I bought it with a purpose though. What we're going to actually do is build a Delta 3D printer. I've spent a lot of time looking around on Thingiverse.com and the one I've settled on is the Rostock Delta. So this is going to be part one of my build log. I'm going to start 3D printing the parts today and I'll take you guys through the entire build from, well, I've 3D printed a couple parts already, mainly the biggest part just to make sure it would fit on my printer and that it would print well it is the biggest part, it was the biggest challenge. So I started with that part, and that part's done, but the rest of it I'm going to take you guys through step by step, and we're going to build this thing from the ground up. I'm likely going to use the ramp system with an Arduino Mega. Uh, this particular build's going to use four stepper motors. I know a lot use five. So anyway, I'll take you through all the parts further as we go along. Uh, I may put this one up on zackblog.com. I'm not 100% sure. I work a lot lately and I don't really get too much time to do blog posts and stuff. As you may have noticed, the website's really behind. But one way or the other, I'm going to take you guys through this through video. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're over at the computer now. The first thing I want to do is give a shout out to, it looks like, Johan on uh, Thingiverse here. This is where I found the Rostock Delta Robot 3D printer. The Rostock, Rostock, not sure how to pronounce that. But this is the printer I'm going to be building. Seems simple enough. Well, not simple, but it actually fits on my printer. So it's simpler for me to build this one than the one I was originally intending to build. I can actually print all the parts of this one, except the arms. But as soon as I saw that they were 3D printed arms, I, before even thinking about whether I could print those on my printer or not, I figured I'd probably take the ends of the arms and do aluminum rod for the actual arms. Or, after actually looking into it, I think I may do carbon fiber rods. Or graphite rods. Uh, can't remember which one I was actually looking at. I'll have to go back to that. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description uh, to this thing on Thingiverse. If you go to Thing Files, download. I downloaded the 2012-06-29 because it's more recent, and that's what we're going to be printing our parts from today. Again, link will be in the description. So I've already got this folder open here. This is the Rostock 2012-06-29. I'm going to actually, I don't have my M3D software open. You may notice my logo's broken, don't worry about that. So, you open the M3D software, it tells you your new printer is ready. I don't know why it thinks it's a new printer every time, but we'll just go with that. So we're going to take the file in here called, well, you'll notice, whoa, you'll notice here they've got like recent models, I haven't really used any of that, I just drag it from the folder every time. So we're going to take this folder and we're going to drag the file called joint.stl into the printer bed, minimize that, and it's as simple as that, I could click print. What I'm going to do is actually move this up toward the front of the print bed. 
so that we can watch this print. Whoa, wrong button. So now it's up near the front of the print bed. Scaling's all still at one. And print. So I've only got one printer attached, so that menu's grayed out. And here we got current filament is Onyx Black PLA. Print quality is going to be low. Fill density is going to be hollow with thick walls. And under more options, the only thing I'm going to select is wave bonding. So we're going to click print. And it'll bring up this estimated time. 0 hours, 38 minutes. I find this is kind of... Sometimes it's bang on, other times it's way off. And I haven't really paid attention to the estimated filament usage yet. I'm going to start paying more attention to that later on. So you can either click start now, or if you accidentally walk away and forget about this screen, it'll just start after 30 seconds. So I'll just let it start, and the printer begins. So over here at the printer, the printer's just warming up. And I'm going to try and actually get a time lapse of this one for you guys. kind of have my doubts that it'll turn up. Turn out. So I'm going to set this camera up just a little bit better. And I'm going to get out of the way.
Okay, looks like we're done. So let the print head move out of the way. So getting prints off the bed is pretty simple on this unit. Just push the bed back, let it pop up, and pull it forward. And the bed comes out. And then if we bring it over here, and use the scraper, sometimes I like to just put it up on its end and it pops right off. That'll probably need a slight bit of cleanup. Actually, that one turned out like a perfect size. And moving on to the next part. Alright, guys, so I really hope you've enjoyed part one of my Rostock Delta 3D printer build. I'm certainly having a lot of fun with this already, and I can't wait to make another video and get some more parts made. Uh, in the meantime, it's kind of mundane to show you guys all these same parts. Uh, I will film one of these little arms. I have a bunch more to film, or to print. So there will be a video of that. And this one part that I printed without you guys, the big piece, it's a pretty important piece. I'm going to print a spare, don't worry. Anyway, if you liked it, subscribe, hit like, follow me on Twitter if you want. I'm at ZachBlog. Uh, if you disliked, dislike. I think that pretty much covers all the YouTube stuff. Have a good one, guys.